with no save files. Am I not supposed to have what I want? What I need? What am I supposed to do? Comes great devastation. The hell was that? Kizami! The sign said elementary school students couldn't buy them without a parent's permission. But they sold me a hamster anyway. And it was only 540 yen. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? Their lives aren't worth much at all. What? Oh, nothing. So what are we going to do with it? <laughs> Look at how cute he is. You want to take care of him? <laughs> You're kidding, right? That smelly thing? Huh? So, what then? Something really special. Where will you see it? It's like nothing else. The end of a life. The very moment of death. Come on. Give it a ear. This box cutter should do the trick. <laughs> what? Are you... Uh, why are you skipping? Come on, man. Watch closely. Now. <laughs> Yuya! What do you think you're doing? It's Kizami's sister. Nothing. Don't you nothing me, you little asshole. You've got a knife and an animal in your hands. Yeah, but I didn't do anything yet. So I'm not wrong when I say nothing now, am I? Stupid bitch. Are you for real? You realize that no one likes a smartass, right? You'd better cool that sass mouth, or you'll grow up to be even more of a good-for-nothing dirtbag than you already are. Uh, Kazami, give him here. I'll take care of the little guy myself, okay? Okay? See you tomorrow. I swear, I don't know how he can put up with you. Ch Shut the fuck up already. Why did I have to be the youngest anyway? If I had a little brother of my own, I'd love the shit out of him. I sure as hell wouldn't be like my goddamn holier-than-thou sister or my fucked part of a brother. I'd listen to that little tyke and respect him. And if I had a little sister of my own... <laughs> What's the matter, Yuka? They're all full. What? what the hell? Who did this? Or did they do it themselves? Body inside is tuned to the stone door. Every time you try to open it, it just slams into the corpse and bounces closed. That's quite a stench. There's a student ID name tag on the floor outside. Tomari Rokuhara. There's a student ID name tag. Kotoe Kuriyama. Great many lives ended in this room. <laughs> Who? With all those dead bodies in there, you'll never be able to relieve yourself. Well, then. <laughs> Shh. 
shall we be off? My dear little sister. <laughs> Yumi! Sure is cold. Where the hell did Miss Yui and Kishinuma go anyway? Don't leave me by myself. I'm scared, you know. Maybe I should try going back to room 1 A. If I stay in this other school building for too long. My head's really going to start pounding. Stop it. Just stop it already. That was the girl who wasn't involved in Suzumoto's death. She seemed different from the others, lonelier. But why? I don't know, man, but I got a bad feeling. Seiko Tanaka. Oh, maybe you're in a different space. Maybe Naomi's in here. And no, she's not. And there's a doll right there. You know what? Save. Before we pick that up. Hmm? What's my candle doing here? I'm sure I left it outside. In the hallway. Did someone move it? Well, that's just weird. There's a torn piece of newspaper on the ground. Looks like the top half of an... Before that, is that blood on your skirt? What is that? Why is it? Is that blood or in my fault? And maybe it's a little clipping texture or something. I don't even know. <laughs> Tenjin Public Relations. The light and dark sides of Heavenly Host Elementary's principal, Takamine Yaneki Hori. Ground was broken for Tenjin's municipal, Heavenly Host Elementary School building in 1952. It quickly became the source of pride for the town. There's no elementary school that stood within Tenjin's borders at all prior to its construction. Primary schoolers had previously been commuting to neighboring towns for class. So, for them in the particular, Heavenly Host truly was a godsend. The coveted position of principal for this new learning institution was awarded to a man named Takami Yanagi Hori. Yanagi Hori quickly became popular amongst the townsfolk for his charismatic personality, his worth ethic, and his firm but fair school policies. Registration and attendance soared well beyond the school's capacity, necessitating frequent desk and chair reorders, and even general building expansion. Essentially, due to Yanagi Hori's unwavering dedication, Heavenly Host became a cornerstone of life within the humble town of Tenjin. But all that began to change on the dawn of one fateful day, with an incident that would set the stage for Heavenly Host's rapid fall from grace. Whatever that, whatever. The newspaper is torn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. Yeah, let's take it with us. You little shit, you're the one that killed Mayu. There's a spirit here. Oh, fuck! Back away slowly. I'm out, fuck you. Where is that coming from? Sounds muffled. Like one of those Toy Mika doll telephones. But it's definitely close. It's that damn doll. It's making noises again. 
there is an old, crumpled up piece of paper next to the body. Well, Yuma, I guess this is as far as you go. Exhaustion has set in, so it looks like it's the end of the road. My classmate Tomo Mizuki climbed the fence around the outdoor walkway and slipped into the woods outside the school. It's been three days now, and she still hasn't come back. All the while, I've been stuck here getting chased around by the ghost of a girl with nothing above her jawline. And I've not only twisted my ankle, but also got glass cuts all over my wrists, so I'm in no condition to keep running. I keep hearing this snip 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 sound of scissors everywhere I go. I can't tell if it's real or if it's just a ringing in my ears. I wish I'd just die already, get it over with so I can finally rest. Maybe I can have my head cut off with a jaw like that, like, no, uh, Tomo Mizuki. Whoever this is seems to have only just died mere hours, minutes, or even moments ago. Yuma Misaki. Ooh. It's the body of a middle schooler. Whoever it is seems to have only just died mere hours, minutes or even moments ago. Yosuke Maibana. Is there a pig in here? Nope. All right. Hey, how are you? There's one thing I've learned from all of this. The children are victims too. They're not at fault here. They're not the ones we should hate. Their murderer is the one who created this cycle of resentment and cruelty. Their murderer is our true enemy. That big guy with the hammer? Were these here before? I'm so glad we could find each other before we died. We'll set off on this journey together, holding hands forever. There's nothing to be scared of as long as we have each other. We know there was meaning in our lives, because we were fortunate enough to find our soulmates to find one another amongst all the fish in the sea. To our mothers and fathers, take heart. We died happy and wanted for nothing. And when we finally pass over to the other side, our hunger pains will be gone. We'll fly up to heaven and be joyous forevermore. Our only regret is the pain our deaths will cause you. But one day, we'll meet again, up in the golden realm of ever after. Lexern Senior High School, Class 3-9, Hotaru Kanzaki. Class 2-4, Nayuto Minatogawa. I'm sorry to tell you guys, but you're gonna die here and like stay here forever. Yeah. It appears they died hand in hand, and their bleached white bones are still holding hands even now. Can I use you? There does seem to be a space for it to go down on the little notch. But the mechanism is locked. There's a tiny peculiarly shaped keyhole in its base. Well, I'm coming back for you. <sighs> Ow. Yumi's hands landed squarely in the middle of a sea of broken glass from a fallen light fixture. Ouch. The skin between the index finger and the thumb in her right hand was cut wide open. Ah! It's bleeding pretty badly. I hope the handkerchief can stop it. Ouch. Just found out I'm anemic yesterday, too. Great timing, huh? Starting to get dizzy now. Not good. I need to sit down or something. Let's go over here first. And you... And it's you. Naho! Sainikui! Naho! Sainoki! You're a liar! 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 Those child spirits didn't give a crap about the killer's stupid repentance. Give me back Suzumoto! I've said it before and I'll say it again. Your voice really travels. Ah, Kishinuma! 
I thought you fucking died. Oh my god, you're close to dying. <sighs> you okay, Shinazaki? You're one to ask. What on earth happened to you? There's blood everywhere. <laughs> well... Wait, 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 wait! But I'm fine. Don't worry. Don't know exactly where, but I was locked up in some gloomy little room. The child spirits were there, along with some really big dude holding a hammer. How did you get here then? Well, after a little while in that room, I lost consciousness again, and when I woke up, I was in the first floor hallway. So, did somebody carry you there? Either way, I'm just glad you're alright. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I don't want anybody else to die. Yeah. I... am not mistaken. If each of those child spirits were to find peace, even if they had to be appeased one by one, then these closed spaces, given shape by their bound souls, should not be able to remain in existence. We let them hear the killer's regrets, though. And it did nothing to help us. I read that in the wrong accent. It did nothing to help us. What kind of person are we dealing with here anyway? The man with the hammer who attacked you. He was their murderer. Y you serious? It seems he's got a violent streak even in death, as well. He harms the living indiscriminately. So your first order of business should be to quell his wanton behavior. How are we supposed to do that? Based on my mentor's research, that antique doll you've got in your hands should be a good place to start. It belonged to him in life. He was given it by his mother, and reportedly, he relies on it to keep his mind leveled and his heart in balance. I'm certain he must be looking for it. Hold on a second. Who's this mentor of yours? My personal affairs are not your concern. What's happening? Sorry about that. Ahem. You'll need to find that man's body, or his remains, at any rate. They should be in this school building somewhere. And if you find them, and return the doll to their side, everything will be just fine. Miss Senoki? Your friend's death is your own fault. What the hell was that all about? Can we really believe a word she just said? Maybe not, but it's a good place to start as any. Earlier, as I was passing through the first floor, the doll started crying, like weeping loudly. Seriously? Let me tell you, I sure didn't miss having that thing around. Well, we might be able to use it like a tracking device. It could lead us right to the murderer's body. Either way, let's just keep moving, okay? Or can you? How's your head? Wow, that's quite a bump you've got. Guy was a lousy aim, but he still had my head full force with the handle. If he'd been more accurate, I'd be a goner for sure. Damn child killer. You're lucky I just so happen to have some cloth bandages with me. I'll see what I can do about dressing that wound. Part of your prop closet, I take it. Guess I should be thankful for your horror obsession after all. <laughs> Progress.